The following trailer is rated S for spoilers. From the developers that can make a compelling story out of literally nothing, comes the game that set all the records for shooting and adventure games, Tales from the Borderlands. Descent to the surface of Pandora, a dangerous desert planet where murder is almost as commonplace as the U.S. inner city. And get ready to point and click your way to the top of the food chain using only your wits, a couple of good friends, and a metric ton of quick time events. Come on, everyone loves those, right? Prepare yourself for an adventure game that has no right to be as good as it is, as Telltale combines their time-tested episodic formula with a manic, murderous world of the Borderlands universe to create a story that's infinitely more charming and well-written than the actual Borderlands games. Bonafart! All of the bets right, we're calling them Bonafarts now! But don't worry, kids. There's still plenty of dank memes. Step into the shoes of Tails' pair of unlikely protagonists, a fast-talking con woman with serious daddy issues, and a corporate stooge with a bunch of sweet board parts, then set out to uncover the secrets of the Vault of the Traveler alongside a colorful cast of lunatics, featuring a gun-obsessed love interest, an accountant with a weirdly ripped chest, Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the trunk, cause your body is making me uncomfortable, an adorably naive super weapon, and your most loyal companion of all, Loaderbot. Loaderbot is strong and real, and he is my friend. I will name my firstborn Loaderbot. Oh, you know, pr probably not. But... Experience the adventure game that lives up to its first-person shooter source material as you repeatedly die in extremely graphic ways. <laughs> Don't help him! Come on, let him do it himself! And almost every situation you get into ends up in a gunfighter Mexican standoff. Then watch as the Telltale engine proves it was clearly not designed to do action games. As the stilted, awkward animations make car chases look like PS2 cutscenes and make each gun battle feel about as tense as a nerf fight. Journey from the depths of space to the deepest reaches of Pandora and bear witness to some of the widest variety of nonsense you'll ever see in a single adventure game as you get into a death race, scoop out a man's eyeball with a spork, scoop out your own, shoot a diamond unicorn that poops guns, peel a face off a face, and become a Megazord. Okay, we are doing this now. Then marvel as Tails makes you feel like every choice you make has specific meaning and consequence even though none of your choices end up being important at all. Well played, Telltale. Well played. Get ready for a game whose worst aspect is the part where you actually play it, and you wander through massive rooms incredibly slowly, quick time your way through action scenes, and mash your buttons until they break. Then feel yourself getting drawn into the drama anyway, and becoming immersed in the fiction until you miss a button press because you forgot you were playing a video game and have to do it all over again. Seriously? Who thought this was fun? So dive into Tales and prepare to experience the Borderlands universe as you've never seen it before, where every choice is meaningful but pointless. Characters are simple yet complicated, and everything isn't tied together by explosions and dick jokes. My reward for you is gonna be long, Hard and powerful. It's a rocket launcher. Yes. In your window. Okay, so there's still a lot of those. Starring Blue Collar Kano, Fault Hunting and Chill, Probably Deals Pot, Ripped Michael Bolton, Golden Freddy, Corporate Crunk, Captain Pandora, Thunder Thighs, Bebop and Rocksteady, Dark Rosad, Fear and Loathing and Pandora. And Handsome How, Gordis Eleven. Get your ride. Get your ride. Be sure to subscribe for more honest game trailers, and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Chicken nuggets are like my family. Whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. I will destroy the crusty crab. I sell propane and propane accessories. Leonardo leads, Donatello does machines, Raphael is cool but rude, Michelangelo is a party dude.